Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about wings. No, not those wings. No, not those wings. Come on, man. It's like I'm getting mad at people who are putting images on the screen. It's just me. There's no one else here. If that didn't turn you away, what are wings in the Enneagram of personality? If you've ever seen someone who's like, I'm a 7W8 or a 9W1, what the heck does that mean? Well, actually that W stands for wing, nine wing one, four wing three, what? All right, so we're gonna get into the question of what exactly a wing is, how does it affect your personality type, and why does it matter? Why do we even need to know? Before we get into the ins and outs of that, today's video is brought to you by Audible, where you can get a 30-day free trial with a free audiobook, no strings attached, yours to keep forever. If you use my link, audibletrial.com FJ. Audible has like 180,000 books to choose from, including one that I got recently and have been listening to, The Honest Enneagram by Sarah Jane Case just came out. An interesting take on the Enneagram. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash fj. All right, so there are a lot of different theories of the Enneagram. The more people that you start to listen to, the more you realize that everyone has something slightly different going on, but everyone talks about wings in one way or another. And if you look at the Enneagram shape, it's on a circle. The types aren't like distinct from each other. They're part of a singular continuum. So the types on either side of your type are the ones that you're most connected to, and those are your wings. Of course, there are more than nine different types types of people in the world. So many Enneagram teachers use the wing distinction as a way of showing that your type is on a spectrum. So if you are, for instance, a six, you could have a stronger wing seven, which might make you a bit more extroverted and easygoing, or you might have a bit more of a wing five which means that you'd be a lot more introverted, a lot more analytical. You're still a six, but there are different shades of six. And that goes for every type with whatever wing is more developed. So that's why you see a lot of people who say, I'm a four wing three, I'm a one wing nine. See the one, the one and the nine, they're next to each other. That's where it gets a little tricky. For those of you who say I'm a four wing eight or whatever, I'm sorry to tell you that is technically not correct. There are things with tri-types, which I'll get into in another video, but wings is different. Wings are only the types right next to your type. You can't forget though, that you have two wings. You don't just stop at the one, the, the one that's more prominent. You have two, and that's very important. The other thing is the wing that is more prominent doesn't necessarily mean it's very well developed either. Part of self-development using the Enneagram is to look at your wings and to see what are the positive aspects of both of those types around you and how can you incorporate that into your own life. In a way it's like how can I spread my wings and soar above the clouds. Careful Icarus. So this shows you that the types aren't just arbitrarily numbered but they're there intentionally. There is a reason why the nine is next to the eight and the one. Let's look at that as an example in particular. The peacemaker. They can have trouble in life because they want to avoid conflict. They don't want to assert themselves. They don't want to assert their opinions. And they can also kind of float through life a bit. They have trouble going forward with a goal, really getting started, getting stuff done. And the reason is because they're just trying to keep the peace. They're trying to do what'll make everyone else happy which in the end can make them appear as though they're a bit aimless, but it's because they're trying to bend around everyone else. A nine's wings are eight and one. So the eight is the challenger. And when a nine develops their eight wing, they can learn to assert themselves. The, the eight is not afraid to get into arguments. They don't care about conflict. They rush right into it. So a nine can learn a lot by developing their eight wing and can get a lot further along in life. The other wing for the nine is the one, the reformer, very structured, very by the book, very much let's get stuff done, please. And so the nine will benefit a lot by developing those traits in their one wing. A lot of us, when we get into typology, we just go crazy over the top wanting to learn about just our type. We want to figure out what's our type, let me learn about that, I don't care about the others, whatever. But the thing is, in the Enneagram, you have to learn about 
the types around you because your wings especially are gonna help you grow. Some great books to read or listen to on Audible about the Enneagram are The Road Back to You and Personality Types, two great books that I've read. Uh, personality Types is a bit more advanced. Road Back to You is easy to get through. Those are ones you gotta read. Of course, as I said, those books are both on Audible. You can get one for free if you haven't gotten your trial yet, audibletrial.com slash FJ. I have live streams on Sunday evenings, usually around five o'clock US East Coast time. You can pop in there, ask me a question about the Enneagram if you have one. If you wanna make sure that your question gets in before the others, I now have a link where you can submit questions prior to the live stream. That link is right here on the, on the screen that you're looking at. But there are a limited number of slots, so don't sleep on it. Once again, if you want to learn all the basics of the nine Enneagram types, check out my video up here. And if you want to see a funny Enneagram comedy sketch video, check it out right here, man. Thank you very much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, personality in general. And until next time, stay cool and attractive.